trying to defeat the mass of Mono Black with Mono Black ain't gonna happen. Not today, my friend. Not today. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. Yes, this is video number two for you today, so don't you worry about my appearance. It is perfectly fine. Also, today we're playing one of the most fun decks that I've played in a long freaking time. You know, sometimes you take the crumbs of something that's fallen off your plate, you smush them all together, dip it in a little bit of cocoa, bite it, and realize, damn! This is even darn better than what I just had before. So enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Atora Skeletal Farm hammering. Yes, you might say it's called Skeletal Swarming, but it is a farm. We're farming skeletons. That is what we do. You know, you cut the crop, you get some more. And that is just freaking delicious. See, Atora throws a creature onto any target. You get three treasures. It is just a fling on a stick. Delicious, freaking delicious. Because if you have like two skeletons on the field, they're already two twos. Now maybe you have some more. Maybe you have two skeleton swarmings out. You have four skeletons. Now there's seven ones. You know, that is just pretty darn good because you throw seven damage into their face and make yourself four more skeletons because you have two skeleton swarmings. So what else do you want? Well, even more synergy in the deck. That is why we have the workshop war chief in here. And look at him. He's so darn powerful that he even has a picture of himself behind him. What do I have behind me? Well, a picture of the war chief. That is how freaking powerful the war chief is. And uh, you know what you just do? Either you just play it, you know, for five mana, turn afterwards to Ziatora, then you fl fling it into your opponent's face. That is already pretty darn good. But if you have your Ziatora out already and you have the mana, you blitz this one in. You attack in with a 5-3 with Trample, they might be blocking it, they might not, but whatever happens, you get in there for the 5 damage. Then, before the end, uh, the turn ends, the triggers will go on the stack, you decide to get the Ziatora trigger at first, you fling the War Chief on whatever you don't like, you get a freaking Rhino out of it, deal 5 damage, get freaking 3 treasures, and draw a card. Because of the Blitz freaking ability, and that is just... Mm, mm, chef's kiss delicioso so that is just like a small little synergy that we have in here but there's even more wait there is more yes there is so we have of course the warlock class because it is just super good with the skeleton swarming if they block now one of your skeletons while you meet a massacre and the warlock class out that is a lot of freaking damage into their face already this also helps us find whatever we, we need so if we draw a lot of freaking lands which will happen spoiler alert you can uh, decide to get whatever you want throw the rest away and maybe we get to the seven mana as well with with the siatora is pretty darn possible so that means that whatever damage you dealt to your opponent you deal it once again and you know if you put this on the trigger before this happens you can fling something into your opponent's face and you know double the damage once more <laughs> oh my lord freaking disgusting so what else do we have in here well the binding of the old gods why do we have binding because it can find us the Zeotaurus proving ground number one number two if your creatures have death touch and trample they only need to deal one damage to your opponent's creatures to destroy them and the rest of the trample damage will go straight to your opponent's face and that is just exactly what we want to do so the skeleton swarming together with the binding of the old gods is just a very very nice mixture of freaking things that we want here same with the workshop war, 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 war chief also has trample so that is very darn delicious so we are doing that yes we are there we have of course two planeswalkers to protect ourselves and get a little bit of, of advantage because really you know this is just darn good planeswalker for five this is just darn good planeswalker for four why do we have three sorens because the life gain is so darn important in this deck because sometimes you're a little bit slow so the two life gain that you can get is super important also you can always fling that little vampire into someone's face super good the prosperous innkeeper the same it gives us a treasure make sure that we can have a turn four uh, skeletal swarming or a turn five Ziatora, which is super good and uh, it gives us life for each single skeleton that enters the battlefield what else do you want nothing i tell you same with the shamley boy and the eye twitch shamley boy can help us ramp as well so turn three skeletal swarming 
is freaking darn possible. If they attack in, you block, you make yourself a treasure, you play down the Prosperous Innkeeper, you play your third land, now you have two freaking treasures, you get a Skeleton Swarming turn three. <laughs> that is pretty darn good, my friends. Then we have the Eye Twitch to sacrifice, so we get access to Environmental Sciences, Necrotic Fumes, Containment Breach, Pest Summoning, one Masked Exhibition, and of course, you know, confront the past to get back our Planeswalkers. It is very much importante. And we have the Deadly Dispute, because in this deck, it is just, like, so good. Because if you do this during your turn, you get two Skeletons now, out of the Skeleton Swarming, you draw something, you get treasures, and with all of these treasures, we can do a lot of freaking things. So, we can even sacrifice treasures themselves, but we can also do a Meadow Mask for one bajillion, which is just... Mmm, so good. So freaking good. And two Infernal Grass and the Binding of the Old Gods are our spot removal to make sure that we can get rid of whatever we don't freaking like. And at the end, we still have three Hive the Eye turns to attack in if our whole board is freaking Gonzo and a lot of freaking lands. Yes. A lot of lands. Not going over all of them. Just look at them right here. Mm hmm. Okay. You got them? Want to write it down? No? That's what I thought. So thank you all so very freaking much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. There will be some crazy games today. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those bony games. Video number two for today. Let's go, Malone. You can do it. I know I can. Thank you very freaking much. Oh, yes, you can. All right. Leave Malone is here as well. We're going first. I freaking love it. We'll have either a super early soaring or a super early skeletal swarming, which will give us infinite freaking life. I like that. I like infinite life. The Shamley boy. All right. Not really good, but also not that bad. So we're up against Mono Black here, I reckon. And I think that I'm going for an early soaring here. Like, yes, they can, like, you know, destroy this. But, hey, do I even really care? I do not. I really do not. All right. So I feel like going for an early Sauron here is good. Or I'm going with the Shambly Boy. You know what? I'm going with the Shambly Boy. Skeletal Swarming. Double freaking power on the freaking battlefield. Feels about right. Feels about freaking right. Yes. Yes it does. So they don't have an answer for my freaking uh, Prosperous Innkeeper here, which is nice. They just go with the Meadog right away. Well, it doesn't concern me too much. A Meadok now means they maybe don't have it later. So, hey, that's pretty darn good. And we now have enough mana for two Skeletal Swarmings, my friend. Two of those. So here we freaking go. I think that they made a little mistake here. Just a little mistake. But, uh, hey, I'm no pro. Not yet. Maybe one day I will be. But for now, I'm just a cute little dude with two Skeletal Swarmings on the field. Oh, yes, I am. Their own freaking Sorin. Well, it doesn't concern me too much, you know. Yes, they're getting some life back. But, uh, what does, what good does it even do them, you know? What freaking good does it even do them? We have to attack in here like this. But now watch this. They block. Oh, no, the horror. And uh, we're playing another freaking skeletal swarming here. And uh, then we're getting four freaking skeletons out of this. Yes. Four freaking skeletons and they will all be freaking big and freaking strong oh 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 is that so mr dad so it is it is so it freaking is so if they don't have an answer right away well they're going to be pretty darn dead very pretty darn soon they need another freaking meat of massacre well that's just a little too late ain't it if they really do have another meat of massacre here well that's just peachadori but uh, then we just play the war chief and, uh, you know, and we're good. And we're good. They do have another one. That is... Come on, game. <laughs> really now. Freaking really now. So at least give me a land here so that I can attack him with my war chief and uh, be cool about it. That is pretty darn cool of you, game. That is pretty darn cool of you. We will blitz this in, of course. And uh, get rid of this freaking Sauron. And then, you know... Even get a little Rhino, get more 7-7s seven on the battlefield. Yes, yes. So, do you have another one? Do you have it, my friend? I don't think you do. I don't think you have a third freaking Meadok freaking Massacre. They need like a land into a freaking uh, Shadow's Verdict. It's like the only thing they can get. 
Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I should have, like, positioned the triggers otherwise. But, hey, we're still kind of fine. We're still... Okay, that is enough land now. I, I wanted only one. Now we're on uh, seven lands and 13 cards. Normal. Normal. All right, but we still have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant here. If one of our creatures dies, that is just freaking fine. Why are you doing this? Do you have another Meatwalker Masker? I wouldn't be surprised. I honestly wouldn't be surprised. Okay, they don't. They freaking don't. But we do have the Saur in here, and I will use it to draw, you know? I will freaking use it to draw, because we do have enough life for everything. We're getting in there for 10. Reveal? Yes. Oh, that is just... That is just freaking perfection, man. That is just freaking perfection. So, we are uh, slamming in there. Uh, what, what are you doing? What, what are you doing, enemy coon? Zila? Zila? What you doing? If you're targeting one of my creatures... That was a huge freak. You know I have the deadly dispute. You know I have it. I really don't understand why you're doing this. Well, maybe there was some logic behind it. But it slips my mind. Get out of here! Trying to defeat the mass of Mono Black with Mono Black ain't gonna happen. Not today, my friend. Not today. So as long as we're not playing up... Oh, Mr. Funkadelic! Mr. Funkadelic. Maybe you remember uh, Mr. Funkadelic from older videos. We're going first. I mean, hey, we have the eye twitch here. So let's just freaking try, you know? Let us just freaking try. And, uh, you know, if the eye twitch dies, that's good for us. And if you think about all the lands we have drawn before, there is a good chance that we will find another land here. It's mono freaking white, eh? Alrighty. So we can even afford to attack in here. Or maybe it's not. Maybe they do have something. It looks like they're not mono white. It looks like they're a control. And they have a freaking yeah. 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 That is what I thought. That is what I freaking thought. Alright. We're getting rid of this right away because it's just too freaking annoying. And I really don't appreciate them having it. And uh, we will get ourselves, uh, you know, the insurance that we find all the lands that we need. All right. All freaking right. So, uh, getting ourselves... No, no, I missed... I don't know why my finger just clicked. What was that? It was me. <laughs> I took control. Oh, get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. All right, but I think that's not even half that bad. Maybe a little bit. If we don't find a land here, it was very terrible. If we will not find a land for the next two turns, it was very terrible. Terrible, I tell you. <gasps> they don't have a land. They don't have a land. They don't have a creature. Okay. Okay. We're, we're still in business, my friends. And we found a land. We're doubly in double business now. So we're playing the Pass Summoning. We're playing the War Chief afterwards and then the Loth. But the War Chief is just a little bit better than the Loth. Because it has double the value. Freaking double the value. The Delver of Secrets. Okay. I still don't worry about that too much. Maybe in that case, I will be playing the Loth. We will have to see. We'll have to freaking see. Yeah, we'll be playing the Loth. So that they have to invest all of their mana right freaking away. And the thing is, I will just block here, you know. Maybe they do have something. And, uh... But they really need, like, a slip out the back or something like that. And we will see if they have it. We, I think we can out-aggro them. I have a slight suspicion they have. That is, that is not good enough, my friend. That just ain't good enough. So we are attacking in here. Dealing the deeps. Like Mr. Punkadelic, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. But uh, just, you know, ain't gonna happen here. Oh, you're preventing one damage. Oh, no, the horror. You're still getting it, though. We're still freaking getting it, though. And uh, now we're wiping the board once more. Like, that is just the smartest thing to do here. And uh, play uh, more creatures on the battlefield. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So, we're too freaking 24 life here. 25 here. We have the Hive of the Eye Terror. So we can... And they scoop! The power of the Meat Hook Massacre $50 card. Get out of here, everybody. Get... Out of here. So yeah, a meat hook for us, a meat hook for them, everybody gets a meat hook. The Tibetan snow lion. I mean, a lion is theoretically a cat, so uh, yeah, opponent's going first. But we do have a very nice start here. We do. So we can even afford to go Shamley Boy into Prosperous, you know. Mono green. Long time no see. So we will see what they're playing. If they're playing like a, 
a 3-3 here. The Sculpture of Winter. Yeah. Well, we are attacking in first. And we're getting rid of that right away. Like, there is, like, so many reasons to do that. So darn many reasons to freaking do that. They go with the troll here. That is still kind of fine. But as long as you don't have a cat right away, you know, we're happy about it. There is the troll. There is the troll. Here comes the troll. But, you know, we will have a war chief next turn, which is fine. And very soon we will have our freaking Medog Masker. So here comes the cat wagon. The Cadillac, the Meow Seedless Bands. Oh my, okay. Interesting. I will block here just so I can get a treasure. You know, the treasure is really, really good. Uh, yes, give me the treasure. And there's also an argument to be made to just wipe the freaking board right away. Wait. We are attacking in first. But getting rid of these two is just very, very good. And next turn, we can still, you know, play our Warshop uh, war Warchief. Also, have we brought only lands? I think we have. I think we have. Or did the Meadog Massacre also arrive here? I don't know. But for now, we aren't looking too tasty with all of these lands. Oh my, yeah, that is terrible to say the least. That is just freaking terrible. Also, yeah, a lot of land has been achieved. A lot of freaking land has been freaking achieved. But we can, like, block one of these suckers if we really have to. I mean, they will fight us here. And maybe we do have a little bit of luck and find something other you know yeah they are they have to the fight spell they really freaking have it they of course have it because the, the the thing is if you're playing up against a deck they will always freaking have it oh gosh yeah there you go there you freaking go so we still have a blocker here which we won't be using because they have trample so let's not for now let us just wait if they have another one a hey. Hey, you know, it is just what it is. Nothing I can do about it. But maybe, maybe we find something here that isn't the land. That would be great. Like, come on. Well, the Sorin is something, you know? The Sorin is at least something. So that means we at least survive here for a little bit, you know? For a freaking little bit. I will, of course, keep the Zeatora because if we draw another land here that ain't going to be good, ain't gonna be good at all. The Bank Buster? What? Now that is some technology. <laughs> that is some crazy technology. All right, so we will of course block one of these things, and we're blocking one of these things because you know, getting another old growth troll onto the battlefield that ain't good. That ain't good. They already have enough ramp. Like they just get it back, you know, and that just ain't good. Okay, so please, please, game, help me out a little bit here, just a little bit, just slight. A slight little help here would be freaking amazing. Oh, I love you so much, game. I love you so freaking much. Okay. Okay. That was, that was just amazing. That was just freaking amazing. Alrighty. All freaking righty. So, <laughs> we're going for the five here. Can we even? We can't even. Oh, we can't. We freaking can't. Oh, my lord. We don't have the mana. If only I would have played to see a Torah before. If only I would have played to freaking see a Torah before. But I haven't. Well, we're still alive here. You know, that is at least something. Not by long, but we're, we're still alive here. That at least is something. And uh, we, of course, have to do this now. Just to survive. Just to freaking survive. And, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if they have another hasty boy here, we're pretty darn dead. But uh, we will see what they're doing. I mean, they will be attacking in. Oh, come on, no! Oh, the game has been going terrible. Terrible, I tell you. Good game. Yeah, Snow Lion, you got me good. There was no reason to do that. There was no reason but the flex. Only the flex. So, yeah. Lesson. I should have count my mana before. Realized that if I do draw a Meadog Massacre, I will be able to wipe the board. I have not done so. So I got punished for not doing math, but also, this was just a real nice start for our opponent. Get out of here, snow lion! Get out of here! Getting eaten by a snow lion sounds exactly as brutal as it felt. <laughs> exactly as brutal as it felt. Ox and walks. Opponents going first once more. Did we go first one game? I don't even know. 
I don't even want to know. All right. I like this hand, though. Like, you know, these lands come in untapped. We do have the Infernal Grass in the worst case. We're up against freaking uh, runes here. So the Infernal Grass will be nice. Even the Bosejo might be nice. So we will see. Maybe they're also humans. There is a chance they're just humans. But I think that they're... Okay, interesting. Pretty darn interesting. All right. So... There is an argument to be made to just go with the Shambly boy here. And uh, yeah, I will be attacking him. Now give me one good reason why I shouldn't. Even if they have now the Luminarch Aspirant, they have the Elite Spellbinder. That ain't enough, my friend. You cannot be attacking in here. I think they will be going with the... Uh, yep, makes sense. Freaking makes sense. But we can now just be chilling here, you know. Just be freaking chilling. We even found a freaking land. What else do you want, my friends? What else do you want? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. The Infernal Grasp here is just amazing. And uh, maybe we even find more land. Who knows? But right now, you know, we can just be nasty here. They need another, like, their one ones aren't looking too good. And one, one turn sooner or later, we might find what we need, you know? And then we're freaking good. The Infernal Grasp here is just amazing. Just amazing. So what you gonna do? What is your grand freaking scheme here, my friend? What is it? I'm waiting, Oxawox, with your humans, with your mono white with extra steps. The Luminarch Aspirant. Yeah, that will die right away. That will just die right away. I know you were waiting for it, but we have to. We kind of freaking have to. Lock you up for as long as we can. All right, so we're not doing anything here. And uh, yeah, next turn we might have a Sorin, depending on what to do in here. Depending on what to do, they still cannot really be attacking in, you know. So that is a little bit sad. So we really need to find a way to get some mana. But, uh, you know, finding more Sorins than lands is also like a thing that happens sometimes. And I think that if we just, you know, they just have to attack in sooner or later. I don't know what they're thinking about. Good thing I have coffee, so waiting time feels a little bit slower. A little bit less worse. Less, just a little better. Finally, I found the word that I was waiting for. Ah, delicious little coffee. Delicious little coffee. So, Oxawox, what are you doing? Should we give him a friendly waiver? No, I'm not giving them the waiver of the hand. Maybe they left. I don't know why. They knew my hand. So why did they play the Luminarch? I don't know. It's a mystery. The mystery of the century. So we have all the colors for the Zeotora. All we need now is three more lands. <laughs> all we need now is three more lands for the Zeotora. And we're good. Oh, they're back. They are back. Now we can give them a friendly waver of the hand. Hello. Hello. How you doing, my friend? Oxawox. Hey, I mean, if they're letting the timer run out, that is fine by me. That gives me one turn for free. Time walk. Freaking time walk. Hey, I mean, they looked at their graveyard and they left. Okay. Must have been a darn good graveyard you had there. So, now we're chilling. No attacks. Let the timer run out once more. In the meanwhile, I can thank you all for being here. They are now touching their river, uh, the Lava Glide pathway. All right, what are you getting rid of, though? The Eye Twitch. Interesting. Pretty darn interesting. Okay, that is just not enough. And we even found another land, so we're getting closer and freaking closer to our Ziatora. And I like that a lot. I really do. So, we're not attacking in, of course. What are we, mad? I know I'm not mad. Maybe a little bit, but not mad enough to attack in here. But if they want to get rid of my Sorin here, well, they really have to do it now. And we do have the War Chief next turn as well. And we will be going back to 21 life. So I like our chances here. I mean, they, they missed a turn. But that is like not my fault at all. That is just like your own freaking fault. Also, I'm very like, this is just crazy. Like two Rockfall Veil. Don't we have only two in the, the whole freaking deck? Don't ask me. I don't know. I couldn't give you the answer, even if I tried. Trying to remember how many lands I put in my deck. That is nothing I can do. All right. I mean, hey. The opponent's not here. The opponent just left. It's all okay, you know? It is just okay. Things like these happen. Things like these freaking happen. 
So are you excited for the next Commander set? Let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, they, they, they're touching their lands and that's it. They're, oh, they're here. They're here. The Helana and Alina. Ain't that amazing. Ain't that freaking amazing. Well, it still ain't enough, you know. Still ain't freaking enough. Alright. You sure about that? Are you sure about that? I will be blocking like this, like there's no reason not to. And uh, just make myself the Siatora. Create a treasure, yes. Oh my lord. This freaking gear sting. Just disgusting. Alright. That is just very nice to have here. Just very, very darn nice to have here. So we can even like afford to attack in here. Like, I mean, yeah, what's going to happen? We will be there with a freaking... Uh, oh, they just like... Come on, man. Come on, man. Here we go. Just, just do something. Just do freaking something. All right. So we're getting more life from this than uh, otherwise. So it's really not that bad. And now uh, we're doing this. All right. Yeah, I'm losing my Prosperous, which is a little bit sad, but I'm getting back an eye twitch, and I got rid of their best freaking creature. The only reason they're even splashing here. So, and now we're looking at the top card. A reveal, yes, yes, reveal that, please. Thank you very much. So next turn, we go with the War Chief into the Ziatora, and then what? Exactly. Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. We even have a backup Soarin. Oxawox is like the slowest player in the universe that I have ever encountered. Like, but hey, that is just like what it is sometimes, you know? Sometimes it's just what it freaking is. We could also go with the Ziatora now. Then flash in the War Chief. But I will make that dependent on if I draw a land here or not. Come on. Come on, Oxawox. Don't you force me to dance. I think he wanted to dance. Do you think so? Oh no, oh no, he's back, he's back, okay. All right, so. Let us see if we find a land here. No land. We're still revealing this. We still are, and we're still doing this. Like, you know, even if we don't flash it in, we can still do it. And this is a 6-6, what are they even supposed to do about it? What, what are they even supposed to do about it? I could go, you know what, I'm doing it. I'm freaking doing it. All right, so. I'm throwing this into your face. Make myself three treasures. Now I can sacrifice one of these treasures if I want to. And I'm getting myself the, uh, uh, the necrotic fumes. All right. And now we're chilling. Now we're freaking chilling. So show me what you got, Oxawox. Show me what you got. Like, we will get a treasure here, which means that we can flash in the war chief. And that is just amazing. That is just exactly what we want to do. The Brutal Cathar. Well, ain't that something. That is... That is indeed something. That is indeed freaking something. But it ain't enough. Well, it is a little bit enough. But, you know, we're still doing this now. We're losing our Sorin here. But, you know, we're still kind of fine. Kind of freaking fine. All right. Because we will be playing the Loaf. And see what happens then. Are you even... Yeah, you are. You are. The Mad Lad. The Mad Lad! Having a second Brutal Cathar here, that was a little bad for us, but not the end of the world bad, you know. We're still kind of fine. Still kind of freaking fine. Question is, how are we doing this? Well, we're doing it like this, of course. We do have the Necrotic Fumes, so it doesn't really matter too much. So all we've got to do is to block one of these suckers. And the other one, we just, you know, exile with our Necrotic freaking Fumes. I don't think they can destroy us this turn. Are you freaking kidding me? What? Oh, get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here, man. All right. Well, at least we're drawing here, you know. Maybe we find another Meadog Masker. Chances are here. Chances are there. Chances are freaking everywhere. Well, we didn't. But we found another freaking deadly dispute. That at least is something. You know, that at least is freaking something. And I think that they will be attacking my Loth here. Like, why shouldn't they? Like, there's a high chance that they will. And if they aren't attacking my love, if for some reason they aren't, well, that's just plain freaking bad, isn't it? All right. No blocks. I'm sure you'll miss me. So let me see. How am I freaking doing this? There's so many things I can do. 
so many. I go with the Sauron here. I don't have enough for that. So I kind of have to do it like this. Yes. Okay. So we're still in it. You know, we're still freaking in it. I do have this now. I now do have this as well. That I can just, you know, bring down like a clown, Charlie Brown. Gaining myself three more life. Uh, and then, you know, sacrifice this. Getting rid of uh, the freaking Halana and Alina. Because that is just too oppressive for me. A little bit too oppressive for my taste. And I'm getting a little rhino. So... Your go, Oxawox! Your freaking go! I don't believe it that we are missing freaking mana here. I just don't believe it. Alright, like, we, we're still super fine, you know? Even if they do that, we're still super fine. We're still super freaking fine. Will I block this here one bajillion percent? I will. And I will just draw myself a card even, so that is amazing. Alright, passing the blocks. Blocking like this. Okay. Like, they with four mana are doing way more than we are with a bajillion mana. That is just bananas, is what it is. Freaking bananas. Alrighty. And we're drawing like more land and more freaking land. That is no bueno. No freaking bueno. Alright, we're blitzing this one in. Gaining the life. We are attacking their stupid little face here. Okay. Now we're bringing down another Sauron. Okay. Oh, somebody's at the door. I'll be back in a sec. And I'm back. All right. So we're now gaining a little lifelinker here. Now uh, this triggers first. Yes. So we're throwing this um, into their face. <laughs> Give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. <laughs> Give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't throw it in their face. Like, we just need to block and we win the freaking game. Like, you want to tell me they have a fourth Brutal Qatar here? Do you really want to tell me? I don't think you do. I just don't think you do, my friend. You can tell me whatever you want. I just don't think that you do. Oh my, okay. <laughs> the Nutter Ryan Day Scoop! Hey, oh! Get your humans out of here! The dragons are in the house! Mmm! That was just... Mwah. Chef's kiss delicious. We're up against you, 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 one, two, three. Oh, top 400 player. It just, okay. There is no going first for us today. That is just peculiar. Peculiar. It's mono freaking white, isn't it? It is just mono freaking white, isn't it? Well, at least, you know, we do have things to do. Well, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're playing some blue here now and have a... Uh... No, they are mono white. But I still feel like they do have something. Like maybe a protection spell or something like that. There is a chance that they do. There is a chance they do. So how are we playing this? Like our mana here is a little bit iffy. But only a little bit. Yeah, we'll be going like this. Bring down the Shambly Boy here. There is no reason to, to attack in here right now. But you know, going up against Mono White in the top 400 that's going first. And has a like freaking Talia right away. That is just disgusting. All right, here, Dongo. You can you can go under this. Come on, I help you. But uh, just if you decide to go there, stay there. The, the, the dog is so weird. Hey, you want to go under this? No, I changed my mind. All right, but that also means that they don't have Wandering Emperor here to worry about. But I don't know what they have. So we will have to see. The, okay, dog, yeah, I got you. I know, I am, I am your servant. I am, but your humble man servant. Alrighty. That is okay with me. I'll take it. I'll freaking take it, you know? That is, like, what, what are they even doing? Like, do they have another freaking A Ganjo? Even if they do, you know? I don't know why they were attacking in here. Even if they do have another A Ganjo here. We just, like, minus this and then we're kind of good, you know? Oh, get out of here, man. Get, get freaking out of here, man. That was totally uncool. That was totally freaking uncool, man. All right, we go with the Warlock class here. Like, come on, really now? That was, like, okay. I, I, like, yeah, I did not see that coming. I did not freaking see it coming. Not in the slightest. The Sango, well, come on, man. 
Yeah, mono freaking white, just doing mono freaking white things. That is just what is up. That is just bananas, man. Just freaking bananas, man. All right, so we will decide what we're doing here. Right now, we'll be taking one hit, but only one. We're drawing another land here. Like, not what I need, you know? Like, not at all what I... What? Five lands on the top? Well, that is not cool, game. That is not cool at all, man. Just not cool at all. All right, game. I mean, hey, if you're going up against somebody out of the top 400, what you want is like one, two, three, four, five, plus four. That's nine lands in the top 14. That is exactly what you want to see. Nine lands in the top 14 is exactly what you want to see. Amazing game. Freaking amazing. You're, you're a real champion of the people. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of my land. I couldn't care less. Just unfreaking believable. Unfreaking believable is what it is. All right. I mean, we do have stuff here still to do. We can get ourselves necrotic fumes at least. You know that. Are you freaking kidding me? What? How? How? How is that a thing? How is that possible? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine lands in the first 15? Oh, come on, game. And they have a removal, don't they? Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Yeah, that is their second March of the Otherworldly Light. While we're sitting with four lands, you know, they went first. Yeah, that is the fifth land now. Now. Now they have it. Now they have it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm in utter freaking shock. Game, you are sometimes a real piece of trash. You know that? Just a real freaking piece of trash. And I have to say it. I'm sorry for complaining. But you know, if at least we could have a chance here, that would be really appreciated. Really much so. Unbelievable. <laughs> Just unfreaking believable. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, at least that is something, you know. At least we buy ourselves some time. We cannot do it. They just give themselves protection. Man, nothing is going in our favor right now. Like nothing, man. That is just insanity. Literal freaking insanity. Oh my lord. At least we do have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant here. And we do have the Eye Twitch. So we can at least block, you know, and try things. But this just is looking really darn bad for us. <laughs> really darn freaking bad for us. Holy freaking smokes. Like, how is that possible? One, two, three... Four, yeah, that's just bananas, man. That is just freaking bananas, man. Okay, are you attacking in here? If they now have a wandering freaking Empress in hand, then you know we never had a chance to begin with. We never had a chance to begin with. But we can at least get rid of the Luminarch here. That is already pretty darn good. Well, they're not even attacking in with it, which totally makes sense. Totally freaking makes sense. All right, are we getting rid of their stupid crawling barons here? I think that we are. Like, we have so much land, we don't even care about it anymore, you know? Just don't. Just don't care about it. All right. So, <laughs> okay. All right. What are we even getting ourselves? Maybe for later, you know? The skeletal swarming is like the least thing I want here. Oh, we're still dead. We're still freaking dead. There was nothing we could have done here. This game was just a scam, man. Get out of here. Get freaking out of here, game. Maybe they miss it. Maybe they freaking miss it. The stonebind is familiar. All right. Yeah. Good game, my friend. Good freaking game. The land flood was so real, man. So real. 9 in 15. How is that mathematically possible, man? We had five lands in a row. <laughs> Game, you piece of trash. Get out of here. All right, we have time for one last game here. Maybe, maybe. Now this will be the game where we will draw not a single land. I, okay, we have three lands in our hand. Okay, I have to double check here now. 
This is game number six. All right, game number six. And uh, I have not been going first for the last one, two, three. Yeah, okay, I have not been going first for the last four games. This is the fourth game in a row where we're going second. Insanity. Oh, come on, really now. Really now. Is that now the new freaking crave? People just playing this? I'm sorry, I'm still so salty from the last freaking game. All right, they don't have it. I like it. I like it a lot. Come on, play something. Play freaking something. I want you to. I freaking want you to. Okay, I don't want you to play that, to be honest. <laughs> that is not okay. That is not okay. But we're playing the Eidwitch here. And then we're still kind of fine, you know? We still have blockers. Come on, don't you find it? Okay, they didn't. That is good. That is real darn good. And we will see what they found, though. Right now we're still kind of fine, you know? Kind of. Not perfectly, but still kind of fine. Alright, the white source. We're still going strong with the lands. I have to say, we're still going pretty strong with the freaking lands. Alright. But well, we're kind of fine. I think we can even afford to attack him with the Shambly boy here. Like, honestly, what are they going to do? Block it? Yeah, go ahead. Block it. Block it. Alright, they will find an instant or sorcery sooner or later. Maybe now. And here it is. Here it is. All right, but we're still kind of fine. We're just blocking here, you know, and uh, using the deadly dispute, playing a loaf afterwards. That is just uh, delicious. All right. And maybe we even find something to work with here. Who knows? What are we going with? I think uh, the necrotic fumes, just to have something to get rid of their stuff. The war chief. Okay. So what you doing here, my friend? What is your grand freaking scheme? Nothing. I like it. I really do. So now they have two blue sources. That one I do not like in the slightest. But we still go with the love here. Like there's literally no reason not to. Maybe we can just freaking out aggro them. There's still a chance that we can. I will keep back my eye twitch. Just attack in with the shambly boy. And you know, see what they're doing. Just see what they're doing here. All right. We do have another loaf, so I'm not too worried, you know. This is a 4-3. The Virtuoso is super annoying. Like, seriously annoying. And they do have something to protect it. So that is also very annoying. But, uh, you know, we would see how many things they have to protect everything they own. Alright, this we can still block, you know. With our freaking spiders. Unless, of course, they have more things. But if they don't... But they just okay. We'll block with everything here. We'll just freaking block with everything. Make myself more spiders, you know? <laughs> it's just... I don't know why they did it. They might have had a reason for it. But uh, it slips my mind. It freaking slips my freaking mind. Alrighty. No freaking rotty. So. Do what I demand here, my friend. Do it. We're going with the uh, masked exhibition here. Oh, what is your grand freaking scheme, my friend? What is it? Alrighty. Oh, freaking Roddy. So, the plan is crazy. But in my eyes, it is a good freaking plan. Getting rid of you here. Doing this. Now they slip out the back. We deadly dispute onto the virtuoso. And then we're kind of fine. And we are kind of freaking fine. Alright! I don't think you expected this. Now there they scoop! Get Fuka Ade Higher! That is his name, Fuka Hira. That is why I said it, you know? Not to curse. Get out of here! I mean, hey, if you're drawing 9 lands and 15 against a mono white deck that just went first and has everything it needs to beat you down, well, you're, you're going to have a tough time. But for the rest of the games, we had a lot of freaking fun, I have to say. And it is one of the most fun decks that I have ever played. And I couldn't be doing all of this without the help of all of these beautiful people on this beautiful list. So thanks to all of you. Thank you very much. And you as well. Yes, and you. And you. And you. And without all of you, I couldn't be doing anything here. So from the bottom of my heart, 
Special shout out to all of my Zadrus, all of my gold span dragons, and of course my Nico Bolas, God Pharaohs, that are making this uh, this freaking channel so very freaking possible. And if you, my dear viewer, are not on this list, but you want to be on this list, well, you can push the button down below to become a member, or you can check out the patronage and become a patron. They're both the same, same advantages, no disadvantages. You help in your channel, you help in yourself. Top. Prime Entertainment. But hey, if you don't have any hard-earned cash share, please, don't you ever freaking worry about it. There's so many ways to support the channel, like subscribing, sharing the video with a friend, and leaving a simple like, thumbs up, you know, all of the YouTube things that YouTube freaking loves you to do. So, and everybody that has already done it, thank you very freaking much. We're on our way to 12,600. We grew 80 people in two days. That is the beef, man. That is the beef. The prime freaking beef. And I really appreciate it. So, yeah. Is there anything else to say about the deck? I don't think so. Maybe you can cut the Warlock class and put something else in. But I really enjoy the Warlock class. Because I'm kind of a Warlock myself. Look at me. I have Warlocks. Is that, how, is that what it means? I don't know. Can anybody tell me? Nobody here. Okay. So thank you all so very freaking much. I hope you're having a wonderful freaking day. Streams will be back next week. And maybe even some darn good news. We will find out all together. But it will have to wait until freaking Monday. So thank you all so very freaking much. I'm Manchester Malone. And I will see you all tomorrow.